a short tutorial on how to use Padlet or previously known as Wallwisher. Um, to put it simply, this is an online digital wall where you can put different notes and on those notes you can put comments, you can um, upload uh, files, you can put links, images, videos, different things. And this is a great tool for educational purposes. Uh, teachers can use this for projects, for getting ideas from students. Um, you can use this for personal uses also, like creating lists or sharing ideas, but um, we will be focusing mainly on the educational purposes. I will be explaining um, some basic things about how to use this. You start by typing padlet.com or wallwisher.com, which will be redirected to padlet.com. And um, the good thing about this is that you do not necessarily have to log in or sign up to be able um, to build a wall, but you can to save your previous, um, the previous wall you've created or something. Uh, right now, like this is the page that you will be seeing if you type in Padlet.com. I will be clicking on the build a wall. And over here, this is a new page. Um, I can start by modifying the wall. I can like choose a picture. I can put a title. Let's say tutorial. And the description is tutorial. Uh, you can change the wallpaper. You can change the layout. Um, maybe the most important feature is the privacy feature. Um, you can choose who is allowed to uh, view this wall. You can choose it as private. You can uh, choose um, specific people, like if they have your password, they will be able to see this wall. Um, you can choose it as, as totally public. Or um, you can add people by email. Um, and the interesting thing is that you can uh, choose that uh, like the people who are allowed to view this wall, if they are allowed to actually comment in it, or um, they can only view it. So um, this can be used for different purposes. I will just leave this as it is. And to start, I just simply double click on a part of this page. And over here, I can just write, type my name and write my comment. I can delete this by clicking this crown over here. And then like on another part, I double click again. And I can, over here, I can um, add a link. I can upload a file. I can take a photo from the webcam. Like, let's say I will be adding a link. and I click Add. And if anyone just um, clicks on this, um, they will be directed to this uh, web page. You can share this wall with different people um, by this uh, share button. Over here you can share it with uh, Facebook, Twitter, with different things. You can um, embed it in your blog you can save it as a PDF. You can do many, many things. Um, this uh, tool has lots and lots of advantages. It is free. It is very simple to use. And um, it can be used on any computer. It has many privacy features. Teachers can um, check the comments before they are posted on the wall. So it's, that's, that's a great feature for a teacher. Maybe the only disadvantage it has is that every comment um, that is written is limited to 160 characters. So that's one disadvantage. But other than that, it's a great tool. And it can be a nice change compared to the traditional methods in uh, teaching and collaborating. I hope you will be able to find this useful.